So guys, the iPhone 17 series is coming this year with lots of new changes and features. The iPhone 17 is gonna look similar to the iPhone 16 with similar vertical dual camera, same design and schematics, action key, power key, volume keys and the camera control key. The best part is iPhone 17 is coming with 120Hz refresh rate, so no more 60Hz choppy display but there's still a massive pill hole dynamic island which contains face ID and selfie shooter which of course is hideous and I I wish Apple make it smaller or just use a circular punch hole camera. Right out of the box, iPhone 17 series will hit you with iOS 26 and exciting software based features with whole new level of experience and feel. The iOS 26 beta is coming in a few days at WWDC. We may see glass kinda effect, circular icons, rounded corners and a design similar to Vision OS. So it is gonna look great I guess, we'll see more advanced customization options for the lock screen and home screen, some new widgets and fast and smooth animations. This is the iPhone 17 Air, thinnest iPhone ever at 5.5mm. Apple is using titanium frame for better durability. This is a single 48 megapixel camera and LED flash on the top right corner. The screen size is likely 6.6 .6 inch so it's taller than the standard 17 and smaller than the 17 Pro Max. This is gonna be 120Hz refresh rate, a high density 2800mAh battery size, 35 watts of fast charging and A19 bionic chip out of the box which can handle AAA titles. So a neat device overall, no dual cameras or triple cameras is lightweight and I guess best choice for those who want a simple, slim and lighter device. Then we have the iPhone 17 Pro models coming in 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch display size. This is a rectangular module containing triple cameras, the LED flash, mic and lidar are on the rightmost corner, something you all should note. So a similar design I would say but the reason of this new design is to make room for in display face ID in the future. This is gonna be A19 Pro chip based on TSMC 3 nanometer process and of course high strength specifications with a larger battery size and 35 watts of decently fast charging. Here yeah, there's still a hideous dynamic ID on top front containing face ID and selfie shooters so a similar device like last year not much difference in here This all guys, the iPhone 17 lineup is here, really excited about the iPhone 17 Air, Pro Max and Standard 17, which would you choose, comment down, thanks so much for watching, I'll meet you guys in the next one, peace out.